Hello everyone, welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I'm very happy to say that I've got a lot of 1v1s to show you. In fact, I've got so many 1v1s, mostly due to one particular evening, that I've got another two videos worth coming out, which uh, will be coming fairly soon, because I've got all the clips together and assembled, and I'm mostly just working on the editing and recording commentaries and all that joy. Anyway, uh, for these fights, you can see who I'm fighting against. Um, my trait setup, I'm going to put this up once again, because I've got people asking me about it again. So uh, here it is at the beginning of the video, so you can see what traits I have. Uh, there's really nothing that's changed as far as my trait setup, and nothing will change until I hit rank 10 and pick up a new racial, and then probably I'm going to swap out Leader of the Orcs for uh, Brutal Persuasion, but that is in the future. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off is Denfair, who is a Guardian. Now, when I first fought Denfair, I thought that he did not have Audacity Armor. Then later, the uh, person who actually plays him came over to Monster Play to talk about how the, uh, the fight went, and I found out that he actually does have maximum Audacity, so it's really not as uh, one-sided in terms of Audacity as I had thought it was, but uh, that said, it still is fairly one-sided in all honesty. Uh, what you're going to see is that he just does not deal enough damage to keep up well, I, I can easily to keep up with the healing um, in terms of how much damage he outputs, so he cannot burst me effectively. And basically, I can just run him out of power, run him out of morale, end of story. And, you know, Banner Terror plays some part in that, but it really doesn't help Guardians that the only real boost they have for their damage is if they hit uh, Warrior's Fortitude and they're in overpower stance, or if they use Brutal Charge, which Guardians don't seem to use Brutal Charge nearly enough. Otherwise, it, this is really a very easy fight for War Leaders, uh, particularly with Audacity and, and the way Brawler Stance works these days. Uh, it's no trouble at all to just keep on top of everything. You just get into Brawler Stance, R of Command, go beat down the Guardians. I haven't had a chance to fight any of the really good ones. Uh, this guy is actually an alternate for a, a person who usually plays a Hunter, but I'm pretty sure that against any Guardians right now, with 7 Audacity on the War Leader, this is not too far off from what's going to happen. Obviously they'll be able to do a lot more damage, but I don't even need to touch my cooldowns against this guy. Whereas against a regular Guardian, you'll have those cooldowns available. Well, if you're rank 9 or bottom of the store. But still, it does take a long time to chew through any Guardian. So, the one problem that you're going to have, which is the problem that war leaders always have, is that they're going to be able to run away. So, you know, if a guardian runs out of power and all that, he can, he can just decide, you know what, I don't want to stay around, and he can get away very easily. I, as you can see from how slow I've been going through his morale pool, and how hard I hit him, 265 with a black speech which is supposed to hit for over 700 according to the tooltip, yeah, he'll be able to run away very easily. Now the one nice thing that I'm doing here is I am doing a lot better with trying to stay behind him, and the real big advantage I have right now is he does have his cloak out, and when Freeps have their cloaks out, what you do is you just aim yourself towards that cloak, and you try to stay with your front facing that cloak. It's a very nice reference point for a visual reference, just to be able to see where their back is. Really easy to follow, especially when it's a nice distinctive colors like that, and it just makes life easy in terms of staying behind them. Okay, now uh, I'm feeling really guilty at this particular point in the fight uh, when I was actually doing it. So I actually stop and I actually go ahead and type out a response to my tribe mate right there because he asked a question. <laughs> I actually typed twice and Denver actually backed off a little bit. He should have stayed on me and kept attacking, but oh well. Anyway, I'm going ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and finish him. Uh, if he had decided to run away and actually really leave when I had been when I'd been typing, even though it didn't take me very long, I probably would have let him go, but he didn't, so I go ahead and just kill him. So up next is Dorkthor, which is Loremaster. 
and uh, with Gore, uh, we have about three different false starts trying to get this started. Uh, this first one, I saw him bouncing, I decided to attack, but he doesn't even fight back, he just wants to do the bounce up and down thing. So eventually I get, we get actually started after multiple starts and stops of the recording and the fighting itself. Uh, as you can see, we went ahead and buffed up. Uh, I've got all three delving pots, he's got his scrolls popped, and a hope token, and he's got, I believe, trail food. And so, off we go. Now, once again, with lore master fights, I'm trying to just do a uh, kind of all-out assault. Brawler stands, RF command, just try to burst him down as fast as possible. I, say, I use burst loosely when I talk about lore, war leaders. It used to be that Warleaders actually had some decent burst damage, especially once Power of Fear came about, but with Audacity and all kinds of other stuff, Monster Play just doesn't have burst. I mean, war Warleaders get a crit and they, well, 600 on a heavy, on a light armor class, and they'll hit for like 400 on a heavy. Like 400 damage, that's not a burst. But yeah, it used to be that you could actually put a decent dent into a target by having war leaders show up and just shout at them. Uh, the main thing that is noticeable here is just the big difference between how much damage he puts out and how much damage like uh, Mannequin was putting out when I was fighting him. And that's probably just a, a matter of legendary items, first stages and such, versus not having those. Um, possibly even Audacity Armor and such, or even Jewelry. But lore masters that aren't at the very top tier of damage, a war leader can actually heal through to a certain extent. I and mean, I've got... Uh, Quit whining a fight popped, but uh, that's already halfway through the cooldown, that's five minutes. So I think that was popped before I even started fighting him, which means I haven't used any of my really big cooldowns, I and mean, I even got Banner of Terror available to go, but I haven't dropped it yet, mostly because he, he is running, he's kiting a bit, not as much as Mannequin was, but still, he's trying. Now that audacity is actually coming in handy as I'm completely immune to the stuns at this particular point in time, which is just great because I've got 45 seconds of immunity from that last stun application. Uh, there went another big heal of his, I think that was strength and morale because I'm pretty sure he already popped the wisdom of the council. And oh, I remember what, what this fight is, yes, uh, yeah, the group I'm in is actually a lot of freeps about to rush on the AFK break and then I wandered off to good TA and got into this whole thing. And as you can see there's a lot of people watching now. <laughs> Not everyone's AFK, obviously, but the leader is. Jump out the back, swing around, and you'll get your flank. Yeah, I don't know how many a lot is, but I'd say like 12. It's the same crowd that was at Lugs. And down he should go. And next up is this Runekeeper. I knocked her off her horse right by Lumber Camp and just go right into it, the attack. Uh, with Rune Keepers, <clears throat> once again, you have to just go all out on the damage and try to kill them. Uh, she keeps walking away, and she's also going a little crowd control happy. But for the time being, I'm not taking tons and tons of damage quite yet. I really should hit my quit whining and fight. There we go, finally. I uh, should have hit that about four seconds ago. But still, I, for the amount of damage she's putting on versus the amount of damage I'm putting on, not too bad, although I should probably hit Rook heal now. Okay, I uh, quit whining and f nope, nope, didn't hit quitters. Um, finally hit and get a grip, there we go, but I, sh I should have hit quitters never win just there, and I did not. I've only just got her below 4,000 now, got card controlled once again, and now I can't get a critical to actually fire off quitters. So that was just a, a big mistake in terms of which heals I hit. Uh, I did not hit the right ones. I dropped Banner of Terror, but she walked away. And now I'm trying to stay around this tree, but this is not going to last. Uh, trying to get quarters off. Move just too soon, 4 health, and then dead. Okay, and that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you see Ghoul here, but this fight, uh, as you can see right now, look at that amount of stuttering and lag. That's what it looked like on the recording, okay? so. This fight is just absolutely atrocious. He kills me very easily. 
but as you can see, I mean, I can't even tell what's going on because of how stuttered the whole thing is. And these fights are just kind of uh, a little mix and mash of whatever from a couple different days, but still, you know, they happen. So I'm just glad to have gotten one v ones at all at this point. And I'm trying to use this tree effectively, but it's not working. I once again a quitters. I messed up my movement there. So just like in the last fight, I was off on that. And now he's got 900 power, and he's probably already charged up his focus as well. So he's gonna do his pen shot spam and the mercy shot and whatever. And that's probably gonna be it. And yeah, this stuttering is just atrocious. I mean, look at that. It is pathetic. And there I, I I'm dead, and he's still bouncing around and stuff. Uh, anyway, that, that wraps that up. Uh, those aren't <laughs> the most interesting necessarily to watch, particularly that last one, but you know, at least there was something to show for it, and uh, I'm going to have to have a rematch with that Runekeeper and that <laughs> Hunter when I can find the chance, because we made some critical errors there. Uh, the big thing is when you've got room to use your big heals, particularly against a Runekeeper, you've got to use them. I was paying enough attention to my health bar thinking I was doing really well because of the amount of damage I'd pumped onto her early in the fight. And then, as soon as critical stopped coming, and critical started coming from the Runekeeper, that was it. I was finished. Anyway, I've got a couple more videos of 1v1s that I'll be working on, and I will hopefully have them done soon. But that's all for this time. Good luck and have fun out there. Ugmog is out.